As you may know, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and experts say early detection is key for positive outcomes in patients. And this month, the Susan G. Komen Foundation is offering free mammograms to underserved communities, and Katie Diamond Stone is the Vice President of Community Health. She joins us live now to explain the importance of getting regular screenings. Katie, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. It is my pleasure. Okay, so talk about early detection and why it's just so important for women to get breast cancer screenings. Early detection is key to survival. And if we can catch breast cancer early, treatments are easier and more effective and survival outcomes are much more improved, which is why we tell people we want you to be screened every year. It's very important to sign up for your mammogram and then actually show up and follow up with your doctor's orders. It's a message worth repeating. Katie, this month is Susan G. Komen Foundation. Uh, they are offering free mammograms to underserved communities. Can you explain how people can find out if they qualify? Yes, and it's not just this month, it's all year long. We have a beautiful partnership with Alinea in Los Angeles and Orange County to provide people with access to screening mammograms and any needed follow-up diagnostic care. To find out if you're eligible, it's a quick phone call or email to our helpline. And if you are income eligible, we're able to provide a voucher for you to have all of these services at no cost. Or if you're not income eligible, we're still able to get you to resources that you need to make sure that you're able to get the screenings you need to take better care of yourself. That's great. And, and tell us a little bit about the impact this is having. How are these free screenings helping the community? It's helping the community because we know not enough people have access to the care and support that they need. We've also seen that as a result of COVID, many people have delayed their breast health screenings. We cannot do that because what we're worried about is people finding their breast cancers at a later stage when they're harder to treat. So we wanna make sure that we have something available for everyone so that frankly, there's no excuse to say no to a mammogram. Well, Katie, you just touched on it. A lot of women put off mammograms during the pandemic. Uh, can you tell us, is that still a concern today? It is a concern today because we find that sometimes people are reluctant to get a mammogram in the first place. But if you add the pandemic and concerns of contracting COVID on top of that, it's a yet another excuse. But I will tell you that our partner in all of the medical health partners across the country are ready for you and can provide mammograms for you in a safe way. Please, please, please do not delay. As a breast cancer survivor myself, I can tell you how important it is to find it when it is treatable. And at what age should women start getting their screenings? We're asking people to talk to their doctors about when screening is right for them. I was 35 years old when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, so I'm so glad I had that conversation with my doctor. But for an average woman, we say, make sure you get your first screening by at least age 40. But if you're at higher risk, for example, if your mother or aunt may have had breast cancer, it's probably likely you would want to start screenings earlier, which is why it's important to talk to your doctor. Great, and then where can people go for more information? For more information, go to Komen.org and search for our helpline. It's right there on our homepage. You can find it. Again, one phone call or one email to our helpline can get you access to breast health services. Please, please, please don't delay. Do it for yourself and encourage those whom you love to do the same. Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing that important information. And uh, we know that Susan G. Komen does such great work. We appreciate all that you do. Oh, it's my pleasure. And one last thing is we have our More Than Pink Walk in Los Angeles this Saturday. So we would love people to come join us to help raise funds for services for your community. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for that reminder. Really appreciate it, Katie.